Welcome to another module in this massive open online course. So, we are looking at least squares and we have looked at several aspects including the intuition behind least squares. Let us look at some practical applications of these least squares. In fact, what we have said is this is something that arises very frequently in signal processing and communication. So, we have the practical practical application of uh, least squares and uh, what we want to do in this is well let us consider the first problem is related to wireless communication of course one of the interesting very interesting problems is that in a wireless communication system is that of channel estimation in particular let us look at the problem of multi antenna channel let us look at the problem of multi antenna channel estimation. Uh, now, if you look at this typically what we said is now let us consider now let us consider a system with multiple transmit antennas. So, you have a transmitter and uh, this has multiple antennas. So, your transmitter let us say you have L antennas at the transmitter. And for simplicity let us say you have a single receive antenna. Uh, now, you have the channel coefficients is there are L antennas there are L channel coefficients. So, you have H 1 H 2 up to H L these are the L channel coefficients. All right, these are channel and this channel coefficients are unknown all right you comprise the channel. All right. And we also said this is the channel state information or CSI which is unknown and has to be estimated. Okay. So, this channel vector if you call this as H bar this is this channel vector uh, which basically constitutes the CSI the channel state information and that has to be estimated. So, this is basically your H bar equals CSI. this is the channel state information and this CSI has to be estimated. The CSI has to be estimated now for the to estimate this channel state information we transmit pilot symbols all right. Now, this pilot symbols are symbols that are known at the receiver. So, implies so to estimate the CSI implies we have to transmit pilot symbols in this case pilot vectors. You have to transmit pilot vectors. Now, let us say x k is the kth pilot vector or pilot vector at time instant k. pilot vector at time instant k. So, this implies that you are transmitting pilot vector at time instant k. So, what we have is I can write the received symbol y of k at time instant k equals the channel coefficients h 1 h 2 h l times x 1 k x 2 k up to x l k plus well the noise sample plus n of k. What is x i of k? Now, remember x i of k you can think of this x i of k 
equals pilot symbol on the ith antenna, ith transmit antenna pilot symbol transmitted on ith antenna pilot symbol transmitted on ith antenna at time instant k ok. So, therefore, I can get this as this implies y k equals well I can write this as the vector. So, this is your h bar transpose channel vector is h bar times x bar k. So, h bar transpose x bar k plus the noise sample n of k. Therefore, now if you transmit let us say m pilot vectors, uh, which you can also try uh, and now remember considering real vectors this can also be written as x bar transpose times h bar plus n k I can write it as h bar transpose x bar k or x bar k transpose times h bar ok. Now, considering the transmission of m pilot vectors. So, let us say you transmit m pilot vectors I can write the equivalent system as y 1 equals x bar transpose 1 into h bar plus n 1. Similarly, y 2 equals x bar transpose 2 into h bar plus n 2 so on uh, y m equals x bar transpose m into x bar plus n of m ok. And uh, now what I can do is I can make a matrix out of this. So, this will become a vector, this will become your m cross n, you can call this as your m cross n output vector ok. This will call you can call this as your pilot matrix. In fact, this has uh, m rows each of size l. So, this will be pilot matrix x will be of size m cross l h bar is a channel vector which is of size l cross 1 and now once you concatenate these noise vec elements you will have this will be n bar of size also again m cross 1. So, net what you have is this is your model for channel estimation. So, what you will have is you will have y bar equals x times h bar plus n bar ok. So, this is the model for channel estimation. In fact, channel estimation model for a this is the channel estimation model for the multi antenna system. And uh, in fact, this x is the pilot matrix, you can denote it by x or x p, it is the same thing. So, this x equals the pilot matrix and this is of size m cross l. 
and this vector h bar remember this is the CSI this is unknown. This vector h bar which represents the CSI this is unknown and now to estimate this h bar remember we do not know that of course, there is noise this is the noisy observation model. So, you have to look at the best vector h bar which explains the observation observed vector y bar corresponding to the transmitted pilot symbols in the matrix x. So, therefore, now one can formulate for estimation of h. So, to estimate h formulate the least squares estimation problem. that is minimize y bar minus minimize y bar minus h x bar norm square. So, this is the least square form and we know the solution now. So, this is your LS problem for channel estimation in fact, for multi antenna channel estimation. and the solution h hat is given by the least square solution x transpose x inverse x transpose y bar this is also known as the least squares channel estimate. This is very interesting this is equal to your L s the least squares channel estimate. So, this is known as the least square channel estimate x is your pilot matrix. So, we have the observation vector y bar the corresponding pilot vectors. Huh. The other thing that we are assuming is that this is an overdetermined system which means the number of pilot symbols m is greater than or equal to the number of transmitters. Remember this works only if the system is overdetermined. So, when we are doing this implicitly we are assuming that m number of pilot symbols is greater than or equal to typically m is much larger than. So, this implies this is an over determined system. So, you can also say that for channel estimation using the least squares technique the number of pilots minimum number of pilot symbols required is at least that of the number of transmit antenna. So, this is another interesting result ok. So, this implies minimum number of pilot symbols required is another interesting result that is you need at least to transmit uh, pilot number of pilot symbols L that is M has to be greater than equal to L for estimation of this multi antenna right. So, this is an interesting application in fact, one of the most uh, how uh, one of the most uh, I would say one of the most popular applications and in fact, one of the most practically viable uh, practically relevant uh, prevalent applications of the least square solution in the especially in the context of signal processing for a practical wireless communication system right. So, we will stop here and look at other applications in the subsequent modules thank you very much.